Hello, it's Jennifer from Fussy Hussy Nails, and uh, I just wanted to apologize for the long length of time between videos. I haven't been very well, and but now I'm back on track. So I've been missing my long nails. So what I've done here is applied some tips, which I got in the mail the other day. Uh, so I trimmed my nails and applied the tips with glue, and I've um, cleaned the natural nail with alcohol and dehydrator and then I tried my um, base coat gel I thought I don't uh, I don't have a lot of the acrylic uh, in in a clear right now I just have a lot of white I'm waiting for more in the <laughs> they sent me the wrong order anyway so I'm using this um, base gel and I thought well maybe it'll if I build up a few layers of it it'll look good um, and it does so I added some sparkles over top but uh, I'm going to show you what I was doing with this fingernail here. So I just used this uh, UV lamp. Excuse me, I have a cold. And on the nail, put a very thin layer. And do not touch the cuticles with it. And I'm sort of scraping the brush a little bit at the little ledge these nails have a um, that pattern on it and it means that if I try and file the edge down um, it will take the pattern away so I thought I'll just sort of fill that little ledge with gel so I'm going to put that in the lamp there's my lamp put the light on it and it goes 30 seconds at a time and so I'll do uh, 30 seconds on this layer and then um, a couple of more layers. And then when I'm all done, I'll put three layers of gel uh, base coat on. And when I'm all done, I'll, I'll cure it for two minutes. Okay, so this is my second layer. And I'm actually going to uh, just use this to steady my finger. So on this layer, I'm going to try and get super close to the cuticle, but not touch it because that will make lifting in a day or two. And then carry it out to the free edge. Check and see if it is in fact free of the cuticle, which it is. It's not pooling anywhere. So now I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds and do the last layer. So if you've ever worked with um, gel nail polish, uh, you'll you'll know that um, after you've cured it, it um, makes a sticky layer on the top, which if you're just leaving your um, nails with the color that you're doing, you can just wipe that off with alcohol. But the other th cool thing you can do with it is you can stick things in that sticky layer. So there are a whole line of uh, powder colors that you can use or um, sparkles work well too. So what I'm going to do is just sparkle, sprinkle, sprinkle sparkles <laughs> on and uh, and that's going to just add an extra little bit of length. So I'm just going to sprinkle some sparkles. Glitter. It's glitter. But I really like saying sprinkle sparkles. And I don't want to overdo it because I really do want to see that black sort of filigree ivy pattern. So I take this brush, dust off the extra. Hmm. But I've got too many there, so I wonder if I can just do this. All right, that's fine. And now I'm going to put my last layer of base coat on. And I'll show you the side profile after it's done curing, and it really does even it all out. And I really like this method. If it works, if it lasts a couple of days, I'll definitely come back and let you know. Because I miss my long nails, holy crow. Like just looking at them, unfinished. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna cure this for two minutes. And then I'll come back. So while I was finishing off my thumb, 
I decided that it needed a little line of gems. So I have a whole bunch of gems as well. So I'm going to add that to the smile line of each of my fingers. So to do that, you just add a tiny bit of top coat for the gem to sit, sit in. And then just gonna flash cure that for like five seconds, 10 seconds, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so now I've got a semi-sticky little line there. So I take my wax pencil and dip it into the gems and push down. Now I noticed that they gave me this wax pencil uh, with the uh, set, but I did notice that if you push it down with the wax, that it makes a white mark. So I'm, I'm pushing down with a wood stick instead. I think that's enough for that finger. I'm just going to straighten them out. Now I'm just going to uh, flash cure that and then apply top coat over top. So I'm just putting the top coat gel and pushing it in between the, the gems and uh, so that they are solidly on there. And then a little bit more and then over top. I do still wiggle around a little bit, so I'm just going to fix that one that's floating away. Get back there. There we go. I'm going to cure that, finish the rest, and show you the final product. So here they are, and I just love them. I missed having long nails for sure. And ah, my board. And I'm just super happy with the way they turned out. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you again soon.